Good morning class. Today we are going to discuss chapter 3 on contracts and that deals with the forms of contracts. Now, technically, contracts may be entered into in any form no? that is discussed in Article 1356. So let us read Article 1356. Contracts shall be obligatory in whatever form they have been entered into provided all essential requisites for their validity are present. And what are these essential requisites? You have the consent object cause. However, when the law requires that the contract be in the same form in order that it may be valid or enforceable or that the contract be provided in a certain way, that requirement is absolute and indispensable and in such cases, the right of the party stated in the following articles cannot be exercised. So contracts may be entered in, into in any form. It could be written, it could be verbal. If it is written, it could be in private instrument or public instrument. But if the law requires that certain agreements should be in writing or certain agreements should be in public instrument, then it should be done. Otherwise, the same cannot be enforced or exercised. By the way, before we proceed class, what is the difference between a private instrument and a public instrument? A private instrument binds the parties only. Like let's say you write in a piece of paper, I promise, or we enter into an agreement, we write it in a piece of paper that is a private instrument. But once you have it notarized with the notary public, no? the, the, the agreement ceases to be a private instrument, it now becomes a public instrument, meaning it binds everybody and not just the parties involved. Okay, so take note of that. That is the difference between a public instrument and a private instrument. Again, contracts may be entered into in any form, be it verbal, written. If it is written, it could be in private instrument or public instrument. It could be valid and it could be enforced. However, if the law requires certain forms to be followed, then it should be followed. Otherwise, the contract becomes unenforceable. Okay, uh, let's go to 1357. If the law requires a document in a special form, no? as in the acts and contracts enumerated in the following articles, the contracting parties may compel each other to observe that form once the contract has been perfected. The right may be exercised simultaneously with the action upon the contract. So, ibig sabihin, any form, but if the law requires that this would be in writing or in some other forms, then it should be followed. Na? So, Article 1358, the following act must appear in public document, no, public instrument or public document. Uh, we have discussed the difference between a private document and a public document. Private document, it binds the parties only, it is not notarized. Public document is notarized. Okay. 1358, Acts number 1, Acts and contracts which have for their object the creation, transmission, modification, or extinguishment of, in circle, real right over immovable property, sale of real property, or interest therein, as governed by Articles 1403, number 2, and 1405. Now, if you... Uh, if the contract no, if the contract involves real property, it should always be notarized whether it's sale, it's lease, or it's modification or extinguishment of a real right over Im an immovable property. So, bentahan ng lupa, it should be in public instrument. Otherwise, it's not binding. Na? Yung deed of sale ng real property, ng lupa, if it's not, uh, if it's not notarized, then it's not binding. Na? It's illegal. It's not valid. Number two, Session and repudiation and renunciation of hereditary rights or those of conjugal partnership of gains. What is this repudiation of hereditary rights? Tatlo kayong magkapatid, namatay parents ninyo. Ngayon, mayaman ka, ang dalawang kapatid mo hindi masyadong mayaman. So sabi mo ganun, I will not. No, I will not get anything from my hereditary rights. So ex you execute a waiver. That waiver should be in public instrument. Okay? Number three. The power to administer properties or any other power that has an object in appear, should appear in public document and should or should prejudice the third person. Administer property. Usually, lawyers execute a general power of attorney for this. Na? This is an act to administer. Na? 
an act conferring the right to administer a property to a certain person. Number four, session or action of rights proceeding from an act appearing in a public document. So public document, public document din ang kailangan. All contracts where the amount involved exceeds 500 pesos must appear in writing even if private ones. Na? But sales of goods, shuttles, or things in action are governed by another article. So if the contract involves 500 up, it should be in writing. Does it need to be notarized? No, no need for it to notarize. No? Kasi sinabi dito, even if it is done in private, uh, private one. Okay? So points to consider in this article, no? in, this, in this chapter. Number one is that uh, contracts may be entered into in any form, be it verbal or written. Be it if it is written, it could be in public private document or public document. Now, but if the law requires the center of certain contract should be in writing, it should be in writing. Or certain contract should appear in public document or private docu public document or private document, then it should be done. Otherwise the same is invalid or unenforceable. Okay, that settles chapter three. Have a good day, class. We will start with chapter four next video.